This video will cover the steps to reset uh, back to factory defaults for the following products and products via scan tool version 5.1 using the manual mode method. Uh, the Tsunami QB MP820 uh, series and the Tsunami QB MP830 uh, series. Note this feature is designed for the QB MP820. Um, 20 series radios that uh, the model number will not work if the bootloader version in the 820 series uh, is older than 1.0.8 and the serial number uh, is going to be lower than 16TT18. Okay, that means that it was built prior to week 18, 2016. Okay. Also, uh, this feature is designed for QBMP830 radios uh, where the bootloader version is uh, 2.6 uh, or higher. For units that do not fall under the above mentioned notes, uh, please contact Proxim Technical Support for assistance. Uh, note, in order for scan tool uh, version 5.1 to function, WinCap must be installed. And uh, as for the reset works at the bootloader level, VLAN configuration will not impact the procedure. A few more uh, notes. The Proxim radios must be directly connected to the PC's NIC interface. Uh, it cannot be connected to a switch, to a router, or anything like that. Uh, if you do have it connected to a switch, to a router, uh, it, the function is not going to uh, work. Uh, the NIC must have a static IP address of 169.254.128.133. Uh, with a 24-bit mask. If it's any other IP, the process is going to fail. Uh, the PC's firewall must be disabled. Okay. Uh, UDP port uh, 15,000 must be open. Okay. If it's not open, then uh, the scan tool is going to fail. All right. All right. Uh, also, when resetting a QB10100 back to factory defaults, both radios revert back to endpoint A. Uh, to reestablish uh, RF link, the far end unit will need to be changed to endpoint B. Also, when resetting a, a QB9100 back to factory defaults, radio mode does not change. Uh, the near radio will remain as endpoint A, and the far radio will remain as endpoint B. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Um, so as mentioned, there's several things that need to be done first. Number one is that you have to have a static IP address on your NIC. Uh, 169.254.128.133. It has to be that .133 because that is what the uh, radio is looking for on the bootloader side. Okay, number two, we have to make sure that the firewall is disabled. Okay, very important that we have the firewall disabled. Okay, so let's go ahead and close all these. And number three, okay, uh, mention that WinPCAP has to be installed. So when you don't have WinPCAP installed and you run the scan tool for the first time, this is the message that you're going to see, okay? So after you install WinPCAP, uh, then you could go ahead and start the... Uh, start the scan tool. All right, one last uh, one last bit. Uh, you have to be in admin mode, administrator mode, for the reset reload function to work. So uh, I guess there's two ways you could do it. You could right click and then just go to run as admin. Um, what I do is I just go to down to properties, go down to compatibility, and uh, just go ahead and do run this program as administrator applying okay so that way you don't have to um, go through that uh, right click all the time so now when you press on it you're gonna get this okay and here we are go ahead and select your NIC uh, your IP address the 133 and click OK all right so let's go ahead and uh, cover how to do a reset on the uh, 800 series, the 825 and the 835 radios. Okay, so um, as mentioned on the 825, 820 radios, you have to have uh, firmware version uh, 1.0.8 or 1.0.11. 
okay? Uh, it, it, or it's not going to function correctly, okay? Uh, if anything before that, it's not going to work at all. If it's anything after that, uh, 1.0.13, it means you have to use the... Uh, the reset procedure that's going to be covered in a different video, the procedure is totally different. Okay? All right, so uh, we have already scan tool open. Okay? Uh, once again, it has to be in admin mode. So, manual mode, what we do is we're going to go ahead and click uh, the reset, the reload reset down here. Okay? Now, down at the bottom, very important, we're going to have to say for manu manual reload reset, click here. All right, so you're going to click right there. Okay, so we have to make sure that uh, it is directly connected to the radio. Okay, no hubs, switches, routers, anything like that. All right, uh, you have to have the ability to turn the radio on and off. That means that the power supply needs to be right next to you, and you have to make sure that that firewall is disabled. Go ahead and click OK. Okay, so uh, in this you know video, we're doing the reset. It's going to be a different video that's going to cover the reload. Go ahead and click Reset. Okay, so uh, this whole process is going to take a while. All right, so uh, we're going to go ahead and turn it off again. We're going to click OK and then turn it back on. Uh, once that's done, go ahead and click OK. The process is going to be you're going to have to turn it uh, on, turn it off several times. And uh, so we're just going to wait. Okay, so, um, so this is the waiting game. So you're going to have to unplug it, plug it back in, plug it back out, okay? Uh, so you have to do all these when it hits zero. It's very important that you follow the instructions. Every single time it, needs, it hits zero, you have to, in this case, plug it out. Okay, when it hits zero, you're going to, okay, and then plug it in again. Okay, so it reset. So now we're just going to go ahead and click OK. As you can see, when it hit rescan, it's not going to show up. Okay, so as usual, we're just going to have to wait uh, uh, the lot of time. It's going to be about two minutes or so. Uh, just go ahead and wait until, you know, that time. And we're going to go click uh, rescan a couple of times. Okay, so here we are. It's back up and running. Uh, it's just kind of uh, booting up right now. All right, so you know that it's uh, coming up because there's no system description here. Okay, and there we are. All right, we are back up, and the radio has been reset back to factory defaults. About Proxim Wireless and our solutions, please visit us at Proxim.com or follow us at Twitter at Proxim.